Uh, which double digit seats here, as we're going to try to help out our viewers, I know there's some people out there, they're still agonizing over their brackets here in the final hours before that Princeton Notre Dame tip off. They might need some help here. So, which double digit seats do you see as locks, at least to move on to the second round? Well, Nevada is one I really like simply because I've been on this team all season long. It's a good matchup against an Iowa State team. Iowa State's super hot, but Nevada is a team with all five starters average double figures. Marcus Marshall's an NBA next level talent. Down low, you've got Cam Oliver, who's a guy who can really exploit some of those matchups. You go down low, he can guarantee to give you a bucket. DJ Fenner, you get a look at there as a senior, provides leadership. Jordan Caroline, an inside out big man. They're two big guys with viable scoring options. They have everybody on the floor as a scoring weapon at all times. That makes them tough. I also love the 11 seed Rhode Island going against Creighton. Creighton is not the team that they were for the majority of the season. When Mo Watson went down, the nation's all-time, the nation's leader in assists at that point in the season, they became a different look. Now they got, gained some new life in the Big East tournament, which has a lot of people believing in them. But Rhode Island's another team I've seen up close. Danny Hurley embodies what this team's about. They're, they're relentless in their attack. They play downhill. They're wildly athletic, and they guard you. This team can really dig in and guard. And lastly, the team I like a lot, Middle Tennessee State. Minnesota, due to injury, is not the Minnesota team that you've seen all season long. Middle Tennessee State has the look of a Power 5 squad. Middle Tennessee is a team that is a guarantee to move on as a 12 number two. Those are the three teams I like most. Now, having said that, well, I, I, I'll let you guys get into it before I reveal one of my big-time sleepers that I know nobody has. Well, I mean, well, let's get right to it. Who is it? Don't, yeah. don't leave us uh, hanging here. Butler. I've got oh. Butler coming out of that vaunted South bracket. I know everybody's going to say familial ties. Have you bet with your heart on this one? It's not true. This Butler team is old, which is something that wins in this tournament, a blend of youth and old talent. If you look at the last two champions, Villanova, Duke, those are the teams that have brought it with a blend of athleticism, young guys, and old veterans. Butler has that. Kamar Baldwin's a stud. Keelan Martin coming off the bench at times. has returned to the form of being a star. Butler thrives for the moments when they're considered an underdog, and they'll have a lot of them in this, in this bracket. Heck, they might have it in the first round. Butler is a team that finds a way to win. They beat Nova twice this year. They beat Arizona early in the season. They're not afraid of the big dog. They play the chip on their shoulder, and whenever it counts them out, it's when Butler rises to the occasion. I like Butler to come out of this bracket. I really do. 